doing it, you realize works on your hips, relaxes the spine, works on your neck, and basically every part of your body is awake when you are doing a child's pose, but calming down. All right. So the next one from the a child's pose. Child's pose, and I think uh, the good thing about child's pose, you can even do it sitting on your bed, right? I mean. You don't necessarily have to be on your on, on your mat, but if at at home on sitting on your bed or your sofa, wherever you just stretch it out and feel that stretch for a couple of minutes is just so long. Exactly, and it just calms you down in a minute, right? Absolutely. All right. So the next one is something we do in every single class, which is our cat and cow, which is again one of the most famous yoga postures out there. There are a set of two postures. that work entirely on the spine so like i always say in chai, in your table top your wrist should be directly under the shoulders your knees should be directly under the hips let's go through our cat and cow inhaling you're going to lift your chest up push your belly button down and lift your tailbone up as you look up i know these are a lot of instructions but it's just completely working on your entire spine and when you exhale you're going to start rounding your back pull your belly towards your spine and taking your chin towards your chest try to look at your belly that's the trick look towards the belly you just do one more inhale and lift your chest up and look up pushing your belly button down and exhale and round the back pull your belly in chin towards the chest perfect come back now this one is something again like you said you can do any time you want you can do it in your bed you can do it first thing in the morning just to wake your spine up when you have small aches in your back works wonders to sort of uh, release any sort of stress I, I, I tend to do cat and cow every time if i feel like any kind of workout or if i've been if i've been kind of uh, busy you know like kind of uh, very hectic physically I feel cat and cow completely releases all the tension around my spine and my back. Really, and more so when you when you actually pull it in all the way, you know, and curve your stretches back. the back. Yeah, stretches, stretches the back completely, literally. And I I just find it one of the most relaxing things that you can do. So can you? I know, and it's so, it's almost therapeutic because it's so wonderful, no? And so it's simple, like, so simple if done right. I know. All right, so that's our second posture, cat and cow. We did child's pose, cat and cow. Third one, Third one is again one thing we hear every yoga class, which is our downward facing dog, <laughs> or Adho Mukha Shanaasan. Again, it's a very underrated pose, but like you know, it works on the entire body. You remember when we do it from the tip of your fingers to your heels, everything is engaged in a downward dog. But another thing so, about the downward dog, a lot of people find it difficult to actually put. you know uh, uh, level their feet and actually you know keep their feet correct correct now you tend they always tend to lift their their heels, heels up. up correct always a little i mean i think that takes a little practice to reach that but is that i know fine? definitely but like you, you know how you start at the beginning of the class your even our heels after doing yoga for so long at the beginning of the class the heels are up but as you go through the class your feet get flat it, it just takes that much opening okay. but yeah so okay. the way i teach is you come from a table top right table top yes. again wrist under shoulders knees under hips then you tuck your toes in and then lift back and up into a downward dog perfect now you might not be here where malaika and i are right now because like she said our hamstrings are tight hips are tight so the best trick is to bend and straighten one knee at a time is to walk your legs again walk, this is in as they say walk the dog <laughs> correct <laughs> so you're walking the dog this is again in itself a really good hamstring opening exercise but again our whole body is engaged we're pressing our chest back we're working with our arms and then our legs are opening up now yeah, so you can hold your downward dog for as long as you want and then drop down to your knees and sit back so this was our third oh. posture which is again like i said one of the most basic yet most powerful postures in yoga so we've now got we've... rise pose we did cat and cow 
and now yeah. we have downward dog correct now the fourth one again is going to work on the spine and the quadriceps which is again a very famous yoga pose called the camel pose or ushrasan all right again this is a great way to strengthen the back and to strengthen the muscles that support our back which is your glutes which is your quadriceps and just maintain this sort of stability because all of us have lower back pain at some point that might be due yes. to the surrounding muscles being weak so this is one Which of those poses that yeah right correct so this is and again you to ask any questions if there's something that is that you want us to repeat feel free to uh, to uh, you know message and we'll you know because we catch it we shall definitely do that so up next yeah. we have our camel pose yeah yeah correct so you're going to come on to your knees again in line with your hips your toes can be tucked in or released out depends on how your knees feel if your knees are sore keep your toes tucked in we're going to do a basic version today so your hands are going to come to your hips belly pulled in tailbone tucked forward like i always say not this tuck it in perfect not this this <laughs> yeah the little michael jackson move that we do always okay guys that's like that <laughs> Yeah. it is okay. yeah and to your hips you're going to roll your shoulders back squeeze your shoulder blades together elbows going slightly back now you're going to squeeze your thighs squeeze your glutes which is your bum muscles and you're going to start pushing your hips forward lift your chest up and look up it's a gentle yet very effective back bend stay here for a couple of breaths if you feel comfortable and when you're coming back up you're going to squeeze your thighs again and one smooth motion come up and sit back again perfect so that was our camel's pose in that like i always say it's very important to engage the muscles engage your quadriceps engage your glutes and you feel it then in your you don't feel that pain in your back if you don't engage anything in your lower back is the good yeah. thing is when you put your hand at like the way you told us to uh, support yeah. it so even over the back you're actually supporting your back right i mean correct. not correct there's a lot of support correct so you're supporting it plus your hands are helping you stay stable and push your hips forward into the correct posture so if you're a beginner always practice ushrasan with your hands on your hips and you'll be fine okay. yeah or right. the last one is so we've done four so far the Which last is, one we've did child's pose we've done cat cow we've done downward dog we've done camel pose and now the the last one the last one is has to be a twist so our practice has in, has included downward dog technically um, just a little trivia is a an inversion so an inversion is defined as any posture where your head is at a lower height than your heart Okay. so that technically downward dog is an inversion we've worked on the spine we've done a back bend we've done a forward fold which is child's pose and we end with a twist yes. for the spine and everything which is your ardha matsyendrasan okay, okay it's a long one but it's an amazing posture okay. so you're going to release your legs in front of you you're going to step your right foot to the outside of the left thigh right foot to the outside of the left thigh make sure your back is straight right foot to the outside of the left thigh and then you're going to bend that lower leg and bring it to the outside of the right hip perfect now you're going to bring your right palm behind you inhaling stretch the other arm up with your twist it's important to first lengthen your spine as much as you can and then exhaling you're going to hook your elbow to the outside of the right knee hook and now the trick is to push the elbow into the knee and twist 
another thing about this twist is try not to keep your right palm too like too away from you keep it close to you so your back remains straight it's a nice nice twist for your torso right and it's working on your hips because your this pushing of the knee is going to work on your hips and and you can actually feel it's like a it's like literally like your body is like a washing machine where you just yeah that that rinsing that yeah pause and you rinse it that's exactly how you feel exactly and slowly and also your shoulders are working because you're hooking this you'll feel it in your shoulders as well and slowly release your legs out so we just and then you do the other side since we did. yeah we should always do the other side yes so you're going to step your other foot left foot to the outside of the right thigh bend the lower leg take your right palm behind you this time inhaling first lengthen through the spine stretch up 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 and exhaling hook that elbow to the outside of your left knee and twist to look look over your left shoulder opening up your chest to the side that's the that's what you're looking for a nice twist in the spine opening in the shoulders and your hips it's a great way to talk to people sitting behind you <laughs> inhale and release slowly come back center a nice Ah, that was easy, Anvi. I know. I love. We love all these postures. They're easy yet really effective. But they're easy because okay, we've been doing it for a while. Yeah. So glider yeah. practice definitely makes perfect. Uh, but yes, initially when I started as well, it all seemed very tough, and it seemed like there was pain in areas which, you know, it was just unimaginable. I couldn't even imagine some of the pain that I was feeling. But then with over time. everything literally just eases up your body just becomes open to what you're doing your practice and uh, i think um, the good thing about about yoga is literally you're able to to with every practice it with every day that you practice you get better at what you do and it really is such a overall way of uh, of looking at things and uh, it really helps me stay calm stay focused and stay happy definitely So we're just going to quickly end with our breathing, which is abdominal breathing. So, like um, our body, our breathing system consists of three parts. So why I say why we say abdominal breathing is the best kind of breathing is because when you when your abdomen inflates, which is when it comes out with an inhale, that means you're breathing into your lungs fully. so when your lungs expand there is this muscle under it called the diaphragm the diaphragm pushes down when your lungs fill up completely and that's when your stomach comes out so if your stomach isn't coming out when you're breathing that means that only part of your lung is filling okay that's so through abdominal you're not yes? right you're not breathing to the optimum yeah yeah and you know when i started teaching i used to teach abdominal breathing and people used to not even realize that there stomach is going in when they are inhaling we, we that's how wrong it has gone at some point even that's happened to me also before yoga so you know, let's just we'll have that at some point but the idea is you know you learn and then you become practice and and then you, you become, become mindful of yourself yeah. that's that's all we can ask for so yeah let's just do three quick breaths just to show what we're talking about so we're going to place one palm on the chest and one palm on the belly close your eyes bring all your focus to your belly the hand on your belly start inhaling deep and consciously fill your chest and allow your belly to expand and as you exhale first pull your belly in and empty your chest two more inhale your belly comes out expanding and as you exhale first empty your belly and then your chest one last time inhale fully breathe into the lungs allow your belly to expand and as you exhale pull your belly in and empty it out 
slowly bring your palms down and open your eyes so this is almost meditative and it's helping you breathe right and it's helping you become mindful of your breathing so it's everything in one again this is something we can all you know include in our daily practice yes besides all the other like that you've been that you talk about at posture the, you know uh, essential thing that you can add to your daily uh, routine or whatever it is that you may do and you can start your day like this any time in the course of the day find that little time to do a little bit of yoga and uh, i can assure you it really really does wonders uh, to your mind and body so uh, give it a shot on this world uh, a uh, health day thank you so much uh, janvi you've been amazing and i hope everybody out there has uh, you know kind of learned a little bit extra i mean everybody knows a little bit of yoga but it's always nice to know a little more uh, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to know a little more and uh, we'd also like to take this opportunity janvi to say that on uh, our sarva app uh, we are, we have uh, something for our 5 million people out there Uh, uh, a one-year free uh, membership. All you have to do is go to my uh, uh, my bio and uh, the link in my bio. Uh, click on it. Uh, there's a wheel that will show up. Spin that wheel and wait and see what you uh, what you have in store for you in your mail. So uh, don't forget, it's one year free uh, yoga that that yeah. we are that we have for all our five uh, million people out there. So spin that wheel and enjoy it and make the most of it and. Uh, be healthy be mindful be uh, be kind be gentle spread love and uh, and of course uh, spread the word of yoga thank you mala thank you so much for being wonderful and we will see all of you soon in another live very very soon we shall see you soon we'll do this again and if you liked what we've done today let us know give us your feedback and i'm sure we'll come back with lots more in the meantime janvi i'll see you tomorrow let's <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. And uh, happy world health day.